Welcome to Coach's Roundtable. I'm Ed Cody. To my right is Swami George Abraham. To my left, the Tiger, Albert Campman. Let's go to Spotlight High School Golf Boys PIAA Championship. Butler senior Hunter Swedinski won the Boys PIAA 3A Golf Championship at Penn State. How about this, guys? He was down from seven strokes and came back to win. That's why golf is an exciting sport because you just keep playing every hole, every hole. And you hope the other person messes up, and that's what <laughs> well, happens. You would think the other person with a seven-stroke lead felt <laughs> yeah. pretty good, huh? Yeah, I was following that online. He made a big charge at the end, and the guy said, he got a lead, and I saw he won. <laughs> and then girls golf, Seneca Valley's Lahini Ranawina, she finished second in the girls' three um, uh, PIAA 3A championship. Congratulations to her, to uh, WPIL Tennis, the Knock Girls won a second straight WPIAL 2A Tennis Championship, defeating Swickley Academy 3-2. to two. The Fighting Grebs, Emily Greb and Lindsey Greb, they won the number one and number two singles. And the doubles team of Mackenzie Gumto and Laura Ejack, they, they finished up to seal the victory for Knock. What a tennis program they have there. Yeah, I... I had Elwood City involved in tennis. We played Swickley Academy, and Swickley said they they know they're going to who they're going to meet in the finals. <laughs> it seems <laughs> like those two meet yeah, every oh, year yeah, for the last know. They're gonna be four or five. They're five going to meet years. Knock, and uh, uh, Knock has that confidence now that they can take them. And when you're on that tennis court, you believe that, and they're talented. Congratulations to Knock. In cross country, Butler senior Notre Dame recruit Drew Griffith, he won the Tri-State Track Coaches Association Championship in record time of 15 minutes and 9 seconds. Team Butler placed uh, second to first place North Allegheny at the Mile Elite Invitational at Mechanicsville, Virginia. Griffith set a new Pennsylvania high school cross country record in the 5,000 meter run with a time of 14 minutes and 21 seconds. That's why he's in Notre Dame. That's a <laughs> tremendous, <laughs> tremendous last two years in cross country and track and another uh, season coming oh, up yeah. here. Absolutely. We'll, be, we'll be hearing more about him. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, high school football, can you believe we're headed in the last week of the season? Uh, top rushers, Evan Wright and Mars, 287 yards, five touchdowns. Jack Fennell, North Catholic, 224 yards, six touchdowns. One of them was a kickoff return. Luke Kramer of Carn City rushed for 183 yards on eight carries, five touchdowns, and a 70-21 to win over Bradford. The Gremlins never threw a pass. They rushed for 600 yards. <laughs> These stats run. <laughs> I don't have, have to laugh. Yeah, because these records that are being broken are every year getting broken again. And this day it's and crazy. Age, oh, they yeah. did not attempt to pass. I know. Yeah, but it's a rushing record. You know, the belief is the passing records are all changing because the game is different. Yeah. This is a rushing record. But when you're getting 11 yards of care, I think you're going to break a record. Jeez, oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> more, more, more than that. Went eight carries for 183 yards with 20, 20, 20 yards a carry. That's 20 carries. Yeah, yeah. No. sorry, cut them short. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Tyree Alu Alu of North Allegheny, 182 yards, three touchdowns. One of his touchdowns was a pick six, 82 yard return for a score. That'll change the game. Yeah. Uh, the Italian uh, Beaufort of Beaver Falls, 170 yards. Ethan uh, Pillar. Uh, 141 yards. And in passing, we got one passer this time. I don't think that's ever happened. No. Drew Ross of Freeport, 127 yards and a touchdown. And receiving uh, Zach Hare of Riverside, 115 yards and a couple of catches. William Hasselrig of Hampton, 6 for 74 yards. Brady Solomon of Freeport, 3 for 68 and a touchdown. And Liam Hine of uh, Mars, 5 for 62 yards. Let's go to our football power rankings as we go into this last week. In 6A, it's Central Catholic, followed by North Allegheny, Cannon McMillan, and Mount Lebanon. In 5A, Peters Township, Penn Hills, Pine Ridge and Gateway, and Woodland Hills. Peters Township is really good. I think they've defeated, defeated two or three uh, 6A teams this year. Seneca Valley, uh, Mount Lebanon, and I think Cannon Mac, too. Defensively, they're tremendous. Yes. And in uh, 4A, it's still undefeated Al Equipa, followed by McKeesport, Montour, Thomas Jefferson and Mars. A big game this week 
is Mars at North Catholic for the Allegheny Conference Championship. And they'll go play Central Valley, another big game. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in uh, 3A, it's uh, Bell Vernon, followed by undefeated Adam Worth, Elizabeth Forward, East Allegheny, and Knock. East Allegheny knocked off Knock 14 to 13 for first place yeah, I saw in the conference. Overtime. Ooh. Yeah, tremendous game. And in uh, 2A, number one at the top, it's Westinghouse, followed by Steel Valley, Nishanik. Mohawk, Imani Christian, and Washington High School. And in 1A, it's undefeated Southside Beaver, Fort Cherry undefeated, Bishop Canavan, Clareton, and Cornell. Last week coming up and then into the playoffs, guys. Yeah, there's still some fight fight going on for playoff spots. Yeah. And uh, that's what's interesting. That uh, and, I, know, I know Mohawk plays a Shannon for the championship in that league. And then next year, we know oh, it's all going to change yeah, with the, with the enrollment yeah. changes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see a whole different scenario. It's going to be a ricochet. Teams being bumped up. There's going to be a lot of gnashing of the teeth. But uh, like we said, in, in 6A in the West, there are five teams. In 6A out in the East, there are about 20 teams. Oh, yeah. That's why they change They it. have to change yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the NFL or what it stands for now, the National Fools League. You have a better luck uh, hunting wells in Nova Scotia than picking a winner in the NFL. It's just crazy, uh, guys. And let's start with the Steelers. Uh, for three quarters, uh, the Steelers couldn't do anything. The, the feature was uh, Percy uh, Harvin punting. And then in the fourth quarter, they erupted. Uh, they did go ahead nine. It was nine to three at the half, and then T.J. Watt. What a big play he made! An interception to set up a one-yard run by Pickett. But after three quarters, I'm thinking, how are they going? What are they going to do? They're going to have to pick off another pass. They had 108 total yards, only 30 yards rushing, and the Pickett was eight of 16 for 78 yards. And he went crazy in the fourth quarter, nine to nine. Uh, passing 146 yards. The Steelers outscore the Rams 21 to 8. Got a little bit of a running game in there. So they're they're four and two now. They get a little help from the Rams kicker. He missed those two field goals. And someone said, well, they're long, but it, here's my thinking. It's a beautiful day. What 80 degrees out there, state of the art stadium. You pay those kickers to make those those field goals. And then the call at the end, uh Pickett's knee hit. He was short of picking up that first down on fourth and one. But the Rams couldn't contest it. They had no timeouts. Soup Boy was out of timeout. Yeah, but 10 seconds more, but under two, is. and they would have been able to review it. That's but, a coach. That's a coaching loss. Yeah, absolutely. And, that, that, no, and, no, one, one, and no one said anything Boy about it. Have a timeout. Yeah, we're saying it, it here. You know, we know it was a bad call. So, yeah. but you don't have a yeah, challenge. Challenge. You're always going to save one at no, the end no. of the game. But timeout. Right. But yeah. they never right. will talk about him. Right. Like George and I talk about There's about 10 guys. Oh. They'll never talk bad about him. No, yeah. Shannon, oh, he's the worst. Shannon, they talk about this guy like he's Chuck Noll. He <laughs> yeah. has zero titles. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Hey, and, and in the game, well, Watt had that great interception. But Watt and Highsmith, no sacks. The Steelers had two. Ogan Joby and Herbig. Had had the sacks, uh, and here here's the thing: the Steelers are four and two. They're winning, but there's some issues that have to be. They need to find a way to get started early in the game. Only one offensive touchdown in the first six games, and they only ran for uh, 86 yards, 2.9 average against the Rams, where the Rams ran for 135. So I give Canada some credit. He seemed to be hitting it in all cylinders in the fourth quarter, but also because Pickett finally looked like an NFL quarterback throwing out of the pocket. He made some great decisions. He wasn't rolling uh, all over the place, didn't have nervous feet. He set himself up. So I give him, him credit for that. But uh, guys, they have to do better in the first half. You just can't rely on a fourth quarter every time. And that running game still not where it should be. Two thoughts: they're really bad offensively. That's just really simple. That's not, yeah. that, no one says that, but, but, yeah. but, but you mentioned it. But their pressures were tremendous. So you talk about sacks, right? Pressures are just as important as Stafford was running backwards, throwing the ball. No sack, but throwing it away. Uh, their press, their defense is just tremendous. Did Aaron Donald play? No, they blocked him pretty well. Yeah, they did a pretty good job against him. And uh, the, the um, uh, Pickett and uh, Deontay Johnson back five for seventy nine yards and Pickett's. And uh, Pickens, what a combo they are, five for 107 yards. And that's pretty much their their offense right now. And, and you know, defensively, they give up, they're like 30th total yards sur surrendered. 
but they do a pretty good job defensively in the red zone. Great job. No, yeah, no, they yeah. do a great job. That's uh, no, their absolutely. defense is tremendous. In in today's world, I'm not, you know, yeah. not, we're not talking about the Steelers seventies. We're not talking no, about no, no. Those days, are, yeah, those they're are giving bad. up a lot of yards. Yes, but the but fact they're is, points, they're not right. giving up the points yeah. in 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 the red zone. They're just not as good as the great teams. You understand? <laughs> they're, not, they're not when they play somebody really yeah. good. They're going to give up points, but in the in, in, well, the, in the middle third, they're a pretty darn good team defense. Well, let, let's let's look let's look ahead. They have three straight home games now. I, I, I thought maybe they were playing Jacksonville Thursday. It's Sunday. It's, Sunday. it's Jacksonville five and two, Tennessee two and four, Green Bay two and four. The thing and Green Bay lost to Denver. Jacksonville out of the three teams, the only team quarterback they have to worry about is Trevor Lawrence at Jacksonville. The other two teams are struggling. And to they're selling off Tennessee. They're selling guys off. They got rid of another safety. Don't forget, it's the NFL. You just get that saying. Oh, I know. Don't, I know. Don't think, if, you yeah, try to, I know. if you try to think they'll beat Jacksonville or lose Tennessee, yeah. you, you cannot. Uh, no. they, you cannot predict the NFL. The way it is, they could be 7-2 and two or 4-5. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, yeah, I, don't, I never look ahead to games like that because yeah. if anybody well, thought. I'm just mentioning three straight no, home you said, games. You saw great. I don't know how you said it greatly. Yeah. You start out, it's the fool's leg. If you think that. Oh, Pittsburgh, you know, Pittsburgh are going to win these games. They're at home. There's no chance. There, there of is no that. other league in sports that has such seismic shifts as you get. Every, no, nothing every week. is as it appears to be in the NFL. It changes so fast. Absolutely. But All you got to know is New England beat Buffalo. Yeah, knock, I'm going to get to that. Knock them out a survivor. They were, and, yeah. and New England, if you had seen them for play for four games, With a minute they were left, terrible. They were, no, yeah. you thought they were the worst team in football. Right. Yeah. They beat Buffalo. <laughs> well, let's go to the AFC North. I call now it's the wild bunch. The Baltimore five and two, thirty-eight to six whipping of the Lions. Lamar Jackson threw for three hundred fifty-seven yards, three touchdowns, ran for another. Uh, just they put up five hundred and three yards of offense. Next up, they're at Arizona, Cleveland. Indy gouged the NFL's number one defense for about four hundred fifty <laughs> yards of offense. Cleveland won with fifteen seconds left, thirty-nine. The 38 with their backup quarterback. I think I'm going to leave him in there. He's brought him he's back. better. Two games in a oh, row. He's better. Yeah, he could run. No, he can move. No, there's, there's nobody's. There's guys that are going downhill quarterback wise. Yeah, the, what happened? It, to he him? is. So he throws the ball. He throws the ball right to the other team. Uh, there was a little swing pass. He threw it. The, oh, no. the guy just looked like. It, it went right into the ground. I know the Browns know. The Browns know he's the, the, they, the players know. The players, the players know. know. That's what hey, I meant. Hey, what what an effort by Miles uh, Garrett. He had seven uh, uh, solo tackles, two sacks. I think he recovered a fumble and he blocked the field. It was goal. tremendous. Second uh, player, player, defensive he player. He sent a Levar Arrington over the line. He uh, jumped right over the guy without he? vaulting, without yeah. touching. He'll yeah. touch yeah. him. You know, you're you're going to have those games as good as your defense. Is even in the days when the Steelers had their great defenses, they won some games like thirty-one to right. twenty-seven. Yeah. That's going to happen. So they're they're uh, Cleveland's four and two. Next up, they got a tough one. They're at Seattle. Always tough oh, to win in Seattle. Tough. And then since he three and three, they're idle. Next, they're at the 49ers. Every game is a dip. You never know. I, right. I will say this though, and, and I wrote about this. So I had to. The referees are driving me nuts. Oh I, no, no. There's so many yellow flags on the field every yeah. game. Hey. I never know. I told my wife. She said, "No, they won, they won that game." I said, "No, you don't think they won the game. They're gonna have to replay it. Yeah, they're gonna have to look you, for yellow you, flag." You see this sometimes. It's, it's a, amazing. A, a guy's grabbing on the receiver's hand, and they don't throw a flag. Uh, don't worry, they throw enough of them. I'm glad think, they don't. I think Porter got away with one that time. <laughs> I'm glad they don't. Porter got away with one. They did not jump <laughs> oh, on yeah. the guy's back before oh, the ball got there, and there was no flag. Hey, around the NFL, as you mentioned, New England 29, Buffalo 25, Belichick's 300th win. He trolls only now. George Hallis at 318 and Shula. Did you notice they announced he signed a big extension this yeah, summer it, no one knew about? Yep. Uh, Mac Jones, who looked terrible, threw for 272 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, it's it's Buffalo slipping. I don't know what's going on with them, but it's too much reliance on Josh Allen. They had like 58 or 60 plays. He touched the ball 48 times out of, out of that, and they're they're running in the red zone. It's if he doesn't run, they have no running game in the red zone. I think their offense is fine. The Buffalo's defense stinks. It's not that's yeah. the, the, people talk about this wrong things. They're defense, and they, and the thing it takes over, they better have depth than the pros, and that's why paying the quarterback so much money. Buffalo has injuries, and guess what? They have nobody to replace these guys that are hurt. They should yeah, have I, fired I, the coach <laughs> of Kansas City. When you yeah. give up a score in 14 seconds, they should have cleaned house. They're yeah. never what? They're never going to win. No, I I believe you. And too much. Uh, Josh Allen's a great player. I love watching him play. But you can't put 
every game 100% on his shoulders. And when you can't run in a, in, a, in, a, in a red zone, that puts more pressure on him as a passer. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I thought about you two the other day. There was an old coach just going off about being in a shotgun on fourth and a half yard. Uh -huh. The guy was just, it sounded like he was watching our show. He had it had a in the world. Yeah, that drives me nuts. And the other thing is, the three man rush at the end of the game. But put a rocking chair out there for the for the quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Steelers quarterback sneak, by the way. They do, yeah. They, they listen to our show. They they go, they put go in the shotgun. And they, they didn't remember all the years with Roethlisberger, we kept saying, put it out of He wouldn't do it. He, I don't think he would do it, to be honest. Hey, the Eagles 31, Miami oh. 17. Miami's good, but here's another team like Buffalo. They can't get over that big game. Beat hump. the bad teams. Can't get over that. And the Eagles defense, once again, the. the they may have the best defense around. They have a good pass rush, that's why. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, our NFL uh, power rankings. I have number one at the top, Kansas City, 6-1. and one. They're at Denver. They beat the Chargers 31-17. Mahomes, 400 yards. He's just a joy to watch. He's the best. It's like watching one of the greats. Mm -hmm. The Eagles in at number two, 6-1. and one. They're at Washington. Dropping down from number one to number three, the 49ers after that loss, 22-17. To Minnesota. Next up with Cincy. Miami five and two. They have New England at home. And they struggled with New England in New England the first time. What what that end up? 23-19. Yeah, it was close. Uh Baltimore five and two at Arizona. Dallas four and two. They have the Rams. Jacksonville five and two. They're at Pittsburgh. Cleveland four and two at Seattle. The Steelers in at number nine. They're hey, home with the Jags. I got them in good there. Job. Uh, Detroit, just so they win nine games. Nothing. Yeah, Detroit five. Well, I, I now I'm thinking ten is going to win that division. Good. And don't count any of the miles. Good no, league. They're all in. No, yeah, very good, good league. league. Probably as good as there is with all four. And you some know, have three. You know, it doesn't get credit for their defense saying that. I'm probably going to jinx them as Cincy. Yeah. Their defense is pretty oh, good. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. And I have Detroit number ten and Seattle tied with them for number ten. And and the coaching carousel. Here's some seats not hot. They're on fire. Ron Rivera for the yes. Washington uh, Commas. Uh, Brandon Staley for uh, the Chargers. Josh McDaniels for the Raiders. And Mike Vrabel, Tennessee. I would say three of them are gone for sure. Yeah, I'll, say three, I'll, I'll say three of, the, yeah. three of the four are gone. You know, that guy from the Raiders, I've given him enough opportunity. Yeah. Hey, it comes down in. in. That's the worst loss. That was the worst loss of the weekend. Oh, yeah. The, the Bears. Bears. This is the Bears, the Bears with a backup quarterback. There are two quarterbacks. <laughs> Uh, just the the only job there where you hit, someone would want where you have a stable quarterback is Josh is with Herbert with the Chargers. Other than that, those other teams all need quarterbacks. But don't forget the Bears though; they have Fields and they also have the one, and they have Carolina's one who's going to get the first pick. Well, this coach is just what his first or second year. Second year, second, yeah. second year. He's 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 going to be around for a while. Well, I'm going to say something. Hell, my sugar. Nobody will say. It. Nobody around the world will say it. Herbert's overrated. I may keep raving about him, raving about him, and raving about him, and raving. And all of a sudden, I know is, I want him to win a big game. I want him to win the big well, game, like Mahomes well, does. I, they, they put him like in Mahomes class. He's not close to I, I, I don't, I don't in, entirely uh, uh, disagree with you because coaching. I, his coaching, and even uh, Eichler said, we don't have the best of coaching at times, Austin. He <laughs> yeah, the, the runner. He that's a good exactly way to say, say that. that. That's a good and, way to blame and, somebody. Yeah. That, that, they all well, do that. That's the thing they do. Let's yeah. point fingers. How about playing better, Eckler? How about playing better? Well, here, here's the thing. <laughs> at, at times when they should run the ball, he he's one of the coaches. They'll run the ball maybe three times, pick up 22 yards, and then they won't run it again for the next five plays. And then when he gets down in the red zone, you don't forget about it. He wouldn't kick a field goal if you oh, put a gun no. to his head. Fourth and nine, he's going there. Are you kidding me? Hey, college football, number 10, Slippery Rock, 42, California, 21. Quarterback, Braden Long, he threw for 299 yards and a touchdown. Running back, um, Khalid Dorsey, carried eight times for 100 yards and a TD. Running back, Chris Dior, he picked up 95 yards on 11 carries. And wide receiver, Cohen Russell, six for 98 yards. Slip Rock, 8-0, and oh, number 10. They can clinch the PSAC West with a win over Clarion at home on Saturday. He backed up his talk. He came on the show and said he thought he had a really good team. Yeah. And he really backed it up. And remember, uh, yeah. I, I, I said to him, 
if you if I would tell you your defense would give up yeah. an average of twenty points a game, how would you feel? He says, I'll take it. Yeah. And that's about what they're doing. He's got a chance to be coach of the year nationally, coach. Th th time. This is their best yes. team uh -huh. in the rock history. Only four times have they gone eight no in their history. This is one of them. He has a better defense. What he has this year, we said before he didn't have last year, is a running attack. He has both those going. Yeah. That really add to the fuel of being eight no. I mean they always could throw the ball. Now yeah. you had running the football and defense. Yeah, last good. year was entirely reliant uh -huh. on yes. that pass, 45 to 50 passes a game. How about Grove City, 49, St. Vincent, nothing. Um, All-American wide receiver Scott Fraser out of Knock High School. He caught eight for 75 yards and two touchdowns. Grove City, 8-0, they're ranked number 22 in the country, the highest ranking in school history. There's, what coach, a there's coach of the year right there, Andrew. There, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, Andrew. there's, there's, kind of, there's coach, there's coach just, of the year. Just, you know, and tremendous. once again – He's supposedly an offensive guru, but that defense doesn't give anything up. They're very good. Yeah, very good. Well, you know, I get a dust off. Give it a dust rag. Dust off this old saying: snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And that's what Wake Forest twenty-one, Pitt seventeen happened in that game when the third-string quarterback for Wake Forest. Uh, Santino Marucci threw a touchdown Santino pass. Marucci. Straight from Elwood City. <laughs> With seven seconds left. Well, his dad's from Youngstown. His, it, didn't his dad play for you Bill Warren? I didn't know that. Steve Marucci went on and played Miami. They won a national championship <laughs> wow. as a running back. You remember him? No, I don't. Yeah, he played with Bernie Kosar, right? I love it. Well, I, I, think. I don't know, but it's possible. We'll it take Kosar. it. We'll take that. Kosar played I, for Borman. Yes. Right. I'm I'm pretty sure Uncle Bill coached uh, both of them. <laughs> he coached uh, Nabus Alonzo Stag. It may have been. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Pitt two and five, and let me say this: the, the quarterback Christian Veyer, I think he did a great job, 302 yards. And then they got the picket rule came back to haunt them, and everyone was saying, "Well, he made that first down," but it's not where you end up sliding. It's as soon as you start to slide. That's where the ball was marked. Remember picking? I watched it. I watched Remember? it. I called George. I watched it seven times. Yeah, picking deep those guys. He did right. I mean, I, I, I felt bad for the quarterback. He was way past when he slid. It was just a missed call. See, I want, I want to see it. See, I said, it they wasn't say even close. as soon as you lift your leg to start what? sliding, that's where they marked and they it. Did. It was at the thirty-one yard line when they did okay. it. Okay. I mean, it was the whole yard pass. I have hey, no idea. Really, I thought he was short when he started no, the no slide. Hey, they're really excited about this kid. I think he's really good. Really, he's gonna. They really are. I just know I want to fight the referee. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to criticize him because he could have run right past the sticks out of bounds. But he did run past the sticks. That's what I'm saying. No, okay. He, he, I'm saying I put it on and watch it again. He ran past I, the stick. Here's a line. He ran past. I'll slide here because I'm. I, past I, the I think we're looking at two different things because you could be upright, but you lift your leg like you're going to slide. That's where they mark the ball. Not when you start to slide. It's when you, not when you actually go down. It's when you lift your leg and you're going to start to slide. That's, I might be wrong in that interpretation. No, I, no, I, believe, it, I believe your interpretation is right. I thought he still did that even past. Okay. <laughs> but the, my only point is, and I'm not being critical of him, he runs straight through the stick. Goes Even if he goes out of bounds, there are only 50 seconds left. Wake Forest has one time out. They have four downs. The game's over. But the kid same, Duke goes head first. Does he? Yeah. Well, j just saying that, still, Pitt's problem is still on defense. They gave up 172 yards rushing. They gave up well, they over, gave that last drive. You can't yeah, give up the last yeah. drive. They give up over 150 uh, a game. And then one of the dumb plays, Pitt safety, uh, Donovan uh, Milliron, he had two penalties in one play. He's dragging a player after MJ Devonshire made the, the intercept. Pie. Then he hits a player behind the back. Real good. 215 Real good. yards. Now, here, here, here's what Narduzzi said about the dragon call. He said, uh, I don't see it called very often, but they call it against Pitt. No. What? He always is, there, is there a conspiracy? No. He always has dragon. Hey, how about could someone? No, I'm asking. This, just tell me if this is possible. Could someone make a play without running to the other end? No, they can't. Just, they can't. Could anyone yeah, just can't. make a play? Right. Right, I agree. My good. So now Pitt two and five. Uh, next up, they're at number fourteen, Notre oh, Dame. The geez. Irish by seventeen. Oh. Notre Dame leads the all-time series, forty-nine, twenty-one, and one. Uh, just uh, not usually, a, I give Pitt a really good chance against Notre Dame. Not this year. I I, I think the carryover that loss is going to be. I don't think they're – I think it's going to be a blowout. Well, they're giving up 150 yards at least a game rushing, and that that's – Number seven. Yeah. 
that's not not too good. Mm. Okay, Ohio State twenty, Penn State twelve. Uh, Penn State they have a great defense, but the offense is not a championship caliber offense. Good way to say it. it, 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 it mm. LR was eighteen of forty two. It's more of a chuck and duck type. Of, uh, they were talking about ducking that. Day. There, there's no vertical. There's no vertical threat, and they had no answer for for uh, Ohio State's passing game. Marvin, they held the twenty points. Marvin Marvin that's, real, that's enough to hold. Yeah. that's good defense. You know, you got yeah, it. their defense is tremendous. He does a great job recruiting in that area. It, it's it's he's not one and nine against Ohio State, and against Ohio State, and Michigan, when they're ranked in the top ten, he's one and thirteen. So it reminds me of the line in the Cincinnati kid where ever G. Robinson beat Steve McQueen. He said, "You're good, kid, but as long as I'm around, it's one you're of the tough, second best." It's one of the toughest things to judge, to judge in the country. Yeah, Franklin's job at Penn State. Yeah, because he because he ends up with a great record every year. It's it's, it's a hard thing to judge. A Penn State fans, most of them hate him. You yeah. understand? They hate him. Well, they're remember, a loser. Remember Cooper from hey, Ohio they're State. They're what I'm saying? They're they're hate him. Yeah, they're lo- look. I'm not a Franklin guy. Right, but they're delusional because right. you're talking about one of the top three or four teams in the country, both Michigan and Ohio State, yeah. and that's who he loses to. That's well, what he it, won't, it, won't it, beat him. I know. It's like Ohio State under John Cooper, who's going ten and two every year, but he couldn't beat. Well, Michigan. They fired him because they got fired him. Yeah. yeah. All right, hey, just a great weekend of college with Miami twenty-eight, Clemson twenty, in double overtime. In spite of Mario Cristobal, they they won oh, the game, is. and then Utah. Beats USC 34-32 <laughs> on a field goal with five seconds left. And then the shocker, one and five Virginia. Oh. At Everyone number lies. 10, North Carolina. Everyone and lies. they beat them 31-27. I was so happy. I was so happy for Virginia. Because yeah. they've been playing better bat better. Football. You know, Mac Brown was yeah. yelling out for Lawrence Taylor, and they told him, they said, Mac, yeah. Lawrence is gone. Hey, I'm I'm gonna finish up in the final seconds here. What's going on at Michigan? They're eight note, number two, with uh spying allegations. And is this a big deal or no big deal? I just know he's a cheater. That's all. That's, I mean, he, yeah. five times he's been put up for something. When I say cheating, I mean he always takes the rules right here. Yeah. I say, I'm gonna go right past it a little bit. He, he doesn't. He doesn't cheat over here. Yeah. He just goes like that, just a little bit. Well, like I don't know what the NCAA can do, but I can tell you this: the Big Ten doesn't want to stop their momentum. They don't want to deny oh, Michigan no. playing in the no. national championship. Here, here, it's worth here. money, right? Yeah, it's worth money. right there. Yeah. And he'll be in the pros next year Absolutely. anyway. Hey, that's it for us. We run out of time. Thanks for joining us. High school sports, community events, all of your favorite local shows are calling the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel their home. Find out everything your neighborhood has to offer on Channel 100 or on YouTube. Spirit, town pride, local communities. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Business Pro Wi-Fi from Armstrong Business Solutions is more than just Wi-Fi. It enhances productivity, tightens security, and is tailor-made for small business. Take control over guest networks with a branded portal, protect sensitive data, and manage staff with the WorkPass app. Business Pro Wi-Fi gives you customer insight, turning analytics into opportunities. Get a fully connected business intelligence platform in the palm of your hand. Business Pro Wi-Fi from Armstrong Business Solutions.